On this episode, I share with you the three pros and three cons of buying a newly built home and the top four worst home projects you can do for resale value. Welcome everyone to episode 026 of the Ask Jason Jellius Show. I'm your host, Jason Jellius. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. Um, it has been a crazy week uh, in Macomb County. We're seeing uh, temperatures in the 90s, which I'm not complaining. It's awesome, quite frankly, because we've had so much cold weather. Uh, winter was extremely long. And so, therefore, to have 90 degree weather, even 75 degree weather, is awesome. So, uh, that's, what's, that's what's been going on in Macomb County. So, uh, so we got... A really fun episode today. Uh, I'm going to be sharing with you guys the three pros and three cons of buying a newly built home, new home construction, uh, and then I'm going to share with you the top four worst home projects you can do for resale value. So uh, yes, they exist. There's probably more than four, but these are probably the top four that uh, I've seen in the industry. So uh, I want to share with you guys a fun fact about the number 26. And that is a Rubik's Cube, I wrote it down. A Rubik's Cube can always be solved in 26 moves or less. So therefore, a Rubik's Cube can be solved in about 26 moves or less. Now I've never solved one before, they're fun, but uh, I've never solved one. So, you know, that goes there. So, okay, perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get into these questions and uh, let's get to it. So there's a lot of talk about uh, should I purchase a newly built home from a builder or should I go with a used home that is established in an established neighborhood. Uh, and so while there's many pros and many cons to both, uh, I'm going to share with you the three pros and three cons of purchasing new home construction. Now this could vary by area, but um, in my experience, uh, these are the top three on each side. So uh, I don't side with any option. Uh, I just know that uh, some people prefer new builds and some people prefer existing homes. So let's get into it. Um, the three pros of purchasing newly built home construction is less wear and tear. And I say less wear and tear because people have, have still been in and out of the home uh, from electricians to plumbers to uh, concrete people who uh, are doing work on the home. But ultimately, it's a lot less wear and tear. You don't have the existing people living in it. It's Nobody's ever lived in it. And so therefore, uh, you, you know, less wear and tear. So uh, number two, built-in technology. Um, I don't see this a whole lot in Macomb County. It doesn't mean that it, it doesn't exist, but I don't see it a whole lot. But uh, that means smart homes. So a lot of homes now um, are being wired and built with these things. Um, Wi-Fi this and technology incorporated into the walls or you know to turn on your lights or wh whatever the case may, may be. Uh, I don't have a lot of experience with smart homes. But what I can tell you is that a lot of builders are essentially offering these upgrades when you have a house built. Uh, Kind of like buying a new car. A new car is going to have a lot more quirks and tech on it than a car from the 80s. So, uh, not that an existing house can't have those things. It's just, it's built in for a price, of course. Uh, number three, it's a blank, a blank canvas. Uh, a lot of people that I talk with love this option just because you can essentially, for the right price, you can essentially um, have the house built for you. Meaning if you want a larger laundry room, as long as the layout and you know the lot allow for it, you can do that. Uh, do you want your basement poured an extra foot, okay, when they're actually pouring it? So, you know, th that's an option. There's a lot of things that you can do uh, to essentially paint your blank cam canvas because the builder is right there doing it. So, so those are the three most common pros of buying new construction. Uh, now I'm going to share with you uh, three cons and I might even throw another one 
in there. So, um, okay. Now, here's my disclaimer before I share the cons is this, I do not know for sure that this happens in Macomb County or whatnot, or even Oakland. Uh, while I have seen some things happen in terms of um, the quality of build and things like that, what I recommend is taking this advice, these tips that I'm gonna share with you, and then I want you to do your research on the builder. Go online, look at you know the reviews, things like that, before you decide on which builder. So um, don't fall victim to all the flash of a new home. So, okay, the three cons. Um, flaws, number one, flaws due to building shortcuts. What I mean by that is, you know, some builders, and again, I'm not knocking anybody, but some builders will uh, hurry up and build a house or they'll do shortcuts to, uh, you know, to gain an extra week or month or whatever it is on their time frame. Uh, so you just know that some flaws could happen due to shortcuts in the building procedure. Um, not a lot of insulation compared to what it should be insulated with. It's just small things like that. Uh, so just be aware of that. Number two, uh, style over functionality. You can have something that's extremely stylish and it just does not, does not provide the proper function for you every day. Whether you have a family or you are a busy professional, uh, you want the house to actually be functional. Okay, can you move around in the kitchen okay or is it too tight because of the oversized island? Um, is the garage not big enough? Uh, should you have gotten a third car, a three car garage because you're not allowed to have sheds in that subdivision? Things like that, just don't choose style over functionality. Make sure that you get both actually. And number three, incomplete curb appeal. I see this often. Uh, you get into a, a newly offered subdivision, right? And they say, oh, you know, homes from the 300s. Well, okay, that really doesn't mean much because you can, you might be able to get just the base house, right? Like a base car, but then you have to add on the options. Oh, you want grass, you want sod. Well, you gotta put that in. There's no trees, you have to pay extra for trees. And that can add up to tens of thousands of dollars extra. Uh, and oftentimes a hundred thousand more. It just depends on what area you're in and whatnot. So uh, there are pros and cons of purchasing newly built homes. Um, it's not a terrible thing. It's just you want to go into like anything else in life. You want to go into it knowing what is up and what is down. Okay. So those are the three pros and three cons of buying newly built home construction. I'm going to share with you the top four worst home projects you can do that affect resale value. Now, some of these may be great for you while you're living in the home, but they're not going to increase your resale value by much, if any. So I'm going to share with you the top four. Uh, number one, backup generators. I'm personally seeing more and more homes in subdivisions having backup generators. Uh, you know, it's okay, they, they can be expensive, uh, you know, they can be thousands of dollars. They're nice to have if your power goes out, uh, but a backup generator will not do anything for your resale value, and oftentimes they're bulky and they're not the most attractive thing in your yard, no matter what you do in terms of landscaping around it. Uh, so that, that will not, a backup generator will not do anything for your resale value. Uh, number two, backyard patios. Again, backyard patios, you're great. If you have it, right, it, you know, uh, you can go on it in, on a nice summer night or whatnot, um, and it is functional, but it's not going to increase your value. Somebody potentially looking to buy your home is not gonna see that you have a patio and, it, and they're gonna give you, I don't know, five or 10 grand more. It just doesn't happen. Uh, people oftentimes change things anyway in the yard, so. Uh, number three, sunrooms. I'm not seeing a whole lot of sunrooms unless, and this is in uh, this is based in Macomb County, but um, I've seen some home some home builders add on a nicer sunroom where it's you know bricked and it's basically a part of the house. But when you look at it, it's still a sunroom. Uh, so sunrooms don't do anything uh, for you. As a matter of fact, um, 
oftentimes they can affect your resale value in a negative way, especially if it's older. Uh, a lot of people just don't want to fool with those. So, and number four, uh, home office renovation. Home office renovation, uh, you know, putting money into the fourth room in your house or a room in the basement, uh, you know, making it fancy, hooking it up um, to where it has a Wi-Fi booster and all these things in it, um, that's not going to do much, if anything, for your actual resale value. It's just not going to help. People, people are more mobile than ever. Uh, I know, as you guys have seen uh, on my show, sometimes I record this uh, in a subdivision, you know, uh, by my car or in my car or whatnot. So um, just know that home office renovation, don't waste your money unless it actually affects you and makes you more productive. Um, but it, it's just not going to do anything for your resale value. So those are the top four worst home projects. Uh, and you know, if you have if you have something that you want to share, definitely comment below. Uh, make sure that you you are uh, seen, uh, and you know, share what you feel is the worst thing that you see in a home. That concludes episode 026 of the Ask Jason Jelly Show. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching. I hope you found this informational, educational, valuable, all those words, right? So uh, I, I want to remind you guys that you can comment, you can share this, you can like it, uh, whether you're watching it on Facebook or you're watching it on YouTube. Uh, those are my primary, primary social media outlets where I upload this. Uh, you can search Ask Jason Jellius Show uh, on Facebook, search Jason Jellius on YouTube, uh, or you can go directly to my site. It's all about the real estate.com. I'll put that right here in the bottom. Okay? It's all about the real estate.com. I upload it there first and then I spread it out. So, uh, with that said, I really appreciate you guys watching. And I'm going to go ahead and share with you question of the week because I love to hear from you guys. Um, so, do you like sheds? Simple question, do you like a shed? Do you like what a shed does for you in terms of storage? Do you think they're ugly on a property? Do you think they're a lifesaver? Uh, what do you think? So comment below and thank you for watching. Hey, have you guys hit the subscribe button yet? If not, please do so because I don't want you guys to miss out on valuable information. So, and while you're at it, you can visit my website. It's all about the real Thanks for watching.